Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 192. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. It's a win-win-win situation. By the way, Sneak, if you are watching this, ignore my broken thumb that I've sliced open. But uh, if, if you are watching this, Feel free to drop me a sponsorship. You don't even have to pay me cash. Just send me like a tub a month. Like, a tub a month, I'll advertise the fuck out of Sneak. <laughs> I already am. Ah, uh, I, I wish there was a McLaren P1. Obviously there is, but it's the race one, isn't it? It's not a stock one, right? Why have they not even got the racing one anymore? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Yeah, P1 GTR. It'd be lovely to see just a stock McLaren P1. It is very strange. But I don't know whether it's partially because um, I know when those three cars came out, they refused to let each other compare them. Uh, even when it came down to Top Gear doing, uh, not Top Gear, the Grand Tour. When, when it came out on Top Gear, obviously the last few seasons they tried to get all three as a comparison and they weren't allowed. Um, I, I don't know whether it was Porsche or Ferrari just wouldn't allow the comparison and the Grand Tour the, obviously the first episode that ever aired of the Grand Tour was them comparing those three cars which in terms of Grand Tour numbers and getting views that was the best way they could have done it and could have organized it I mean when you think about it what's the best way to get people to tune in tune in to something as spectacular as that Oh yeah, let's go. Um, but yeah, they struggled so much trying to get those comparisons done. I think they had to do, um, they had to use cars owned by like some prince in Dubai or something. Like someone that owned all three cars. Because at that point, they can't say anything, the companies can't say anything. Yeah. To be fair, the 918 didn't get a race car variant like the uh, LaFerrari or the P1 did. I don't think they got a race variant, but might have, and I'm just not aware of it. In which case, if I'm not aware of it, could you please send me a photo of it? Because I think that looked fucking sick. Now on eight RSR. Oh, RSR rings a bell. Maybe that was it. Yeah, you would think they'd have that, but it's Gran Turismo. Come on. Oh, is that that um, grey and red version? 
it's not like a full race car, is it? Do you know what I hoped that they would have done for the one year anniversary of Gran Turismo 7? Because obviously it's been out for like a year and a half now. But when it came to February, I was really hoping that they would release the game. Sort of release like a bundle of tracks, like two or three tracks, one of them being an original track from an old game, and then maybe two more tracks, maybe a track that's been in a previous game that's a real life track, um, and then also a new track that we haven't seen in Gran Turismo. That would have been awesome. I mean, they haven't released a track at all for ages. I updated the game the other day and there's nothing on there. No tracks, no nothing. Like, it's insane. The last time I updated the game was when they released the last track. And that was about six months ago. On top of that, it would have been nice to have a decent edition of cars. It does seem like Polyphony don't care about Gran Turismo anymore. Because I didn't want to admit it when the game came out. But a lot of people were saying, oh, it's just a GT Sport 2. And I didn't want to admit it. But now that I've stepped back and I've looked at Gran Turismo 7's life cycle. And I've looked at GT Sport. They're exactly the same. They're focusing on the sports side of Gran Turismo too much. They're focusing on eSports. But the problem is, eSports is for... A very select minority of people. Gran Turismo Esports is there for like 50 people, maybe a hundred. That's it. At most. There are so many people that play Gran Turismo for more than just esports. Like by all means, I love the fact that there's a sport mode, but that sport mode should be completely separate. Why is the sport mode influencing the entire game it shouldn't do that you look at f1 for example right esports doesn't affect the career mode esports doesn't affect any of it okay yeah it's a more basic game but my point still stands the rest of the game doesn't affect or esports doesn't affect the rest of the game so why on earth does it happen with gran turismo well i know why because it can't be a bother but The fact that they want it to be more of a brand, it's just not the same game. It's just not the same game. While we wait, while we wait, I want to break up the numbers, the space is still in there. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I'll make it a move. I'm actually quite excited about the movie though, only because of the fact it reminds me of a film I watched before, and obviously I debated this on stream the last time. It reminds me exactly of um, a film called Born to Race Fast Track, and I watched that movie four or five times. And the thing is, the storyline of that movie is... You've got a kid who's struggling, getting in trouble, right, etc, etc. He's then recommended to go and go to an academy, learn how to race and use his racing knowledge for good. He then gets selected for a team, partakes in an official race and has to try and win that race. He wins the race, etc, etc. Gran Turismo movie, what else does that have? Kid that's in trouble with his parents all the time. 
playing the Gran Turismo game, decides to take part in the academy and gets selected for a race team, takes part in a race. I mean, there was a bit of a love plot in Fast Track as well, Born to Race Fast Track. I enjoyed that film though. So it, from what I'm seeing, obviously people are going to cringe out because it's got the name Gran Turismo on it. But if it's not a, if it's similar to the film that I've seen, Born to Race, Fast Track, because there's a multiple Born to Race movies. If it's similar to that, it's going to be a good movie. Because that was quite a good film. It had a little bit of romance in it. It had a l majority racing in it. I'm excited for the Gran Turismo movie. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to be, hopefully, watching it day one. And I will give an honest review here once it's released. With no spoilers, obviously. But I'm super excited for it. But yeah, I am I am super excited for it. I'll be a million percent honest, I'm excited. Obviously some people aren't excited, and that's fair enough. If you're not excited for the game for the movie, then there's unfortunately nothing you can do about that. But it, it looks exciting for me. And I'm very excited to see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I will agree with that. It seems like an excuse as why the game's got delayed and whatnot, but in my eyes, it's not a valid excuse if they were to use that. But as movies go, I think it's going to be a good film. I think it's going to be a very good film. However, I still have nitpicks about Gran Turismo 7, the game. I have some pretty big nitpicks. But the, the problem is, right, because of the fact that Gran Turismo 6 came out in 2013, we didn't have anything about Gran Turismo game until 2022, was it? That it released? I want to say it was 2022. So we waited nine years for a Gran Turismo game, right? Which made me really sort of... I wasn't excited for the new Forza Motorsport. I wasn't excited for Forza in general because of the fact that Gran Turismo 7 was coming out. This is a brand new, by the way, this song playing right now, Gran Turismo PSP intro song. 
This is the Gran Turismo PlayStation Portable intro theme track. And Gran Turismo PSP, one of the best Gran Turismos ever. A racing game, a full racing game in portable format. God tier, God mode. GT PSP was fucking elite. I know. GT4, like, GT4 was good, but GT PSP was something else. The car list was bigger in G... Was it? No. The car list was very big in GT PSP, though. And when you look at it, Gran Turismo PSP, right? It had active aero for cars. If I'm not mistaken, it was the first Gran Turismo game that supported Antivero. But you look at Forza, right? Forza Motorsport 4 was the first game that added Antivero. This game didn't even have Antivero. And I know it's a nitpicky little detail that's probably not that important, but... Fucking hell, this was on a PS... Not even PS2 performing hardware. A handheld device that is designed to last a couple of hours on a single charge. And it had active error on everything. It had every single racetrack that was in Gran Turismo 4. Yeah, it didn't have a full campaign. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. But the fact that you could take any car. And the point of playing the game was to master the racetracks. Like, some people didn't understand the point of Gran Turismo PSP. And they just sort of played. The point of Gran Turismo PSP was to get... And master all the tracks, pretty much. So you would drive in these slow drive, like AIs. You would drive one, maybe two laps. You could pick however many laps you wanted to do, but you get rewarded for it. It was awesome. It was awesome. End of discussion. <laughs> Such a good game. And obviously, this was the intro song as well for it. Right, that Porsche is going to bug me, though. Uh, apparently, the Koenigsegg isn't as good around this track. Because of the nature of the corners. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed about when it came to Gran Turismo. A Porsche is pretty cool. I would have loved when they made the PS Vita for them to make a version of... Even if it was like Gran Turismo 5 and it had the tracks on Gran Turismo 5 and whatnot. Just a slightly more updated version of Gran Turismo PSP. A couple more modern cars. Um, maybe an actual campaign this time because it was a handheld system that could have done that. Because you came out of my balls. Oh, this is a good song. Fuck crap. What's I going to send me on a man? Fuck that. Chicka, 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 some shady with rabies. I'm falling down the mouth. Ain't nobody taking me out. So that single one of you motherfuckers impressed me. And maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But I'm feeling the division. I'm tired of all the... Ah, shit. I don't even... Okay, I know exactly where I went, went wrong. This is the top song on my 2021 Spotify wrapped and 2020. I listened to this song like fucking crazy. And then when I moved from Spotify to Tidal, I forgot to add it. Onto, um... Anything. And I kind of just forgot it existed. I'm sorry. I know I'm crashing into the Porsche, but I don't care. We got Leaving Crucified. We got the shit genocide. No, we ain't fucking with that. No, no, oh, no, no, please do not do that. You won't get smacked. You got me Bobby Boy Snap. You got me Bobby Boy Snap. Bobby Boy. Q 
Keanu Reeves was a good song by Logic as well. There we go, we got the win! Is this thing not connected to the internet? Because it's not syncing any ghosts today. It's just instantly. I wiped my ass with six mil. Big bills like a pipe. There's cannabis. Come to get the cannabis. I'm looking for them song. Fuck! Oh, it was gonna be so close. I was trying to record it. Wow. It didn't work. Fuck crap. This is such a tune. Homicide. By Logic. Eminem. Big feels like a platypus and caterpillars come to get the cannabis. I'm looking for the smoke you motherfuckers are scattering, bannering. Planning, planning it. Do all this while you're panicking. Staring at mannequins. Trying to get up a plan against. I'm gonna. You need to command it, Janet. Command it, Janet. Stand up, ban it. Look, stamina, you're lacking the stamina. One more torrent. Using way too many napkins. Babkins. Lapsic and chap. Using chapstick and napkins while a babkin. Flapping around like a babkin. <laughs> I love the end of the song. The fact that it's just a really shitty Eminem impression. It's amazing. Flamming around like a babkin. Oh, this is asking Alexandria. Oh, what a tune. Such a fucking tune. Alone in a room. This motherfucker, I'm coming through! Holy fuck, Knuckles. Ah! I got that position back. Thought the logic was just making fun of Eminem the whole time. <laughs> oh, what? And then Eminem came on the track and then he was like, what? To be fair, I can see that. Because he's definitely taking piss of a lot of rappers there in the start of Homicide, but <laughs> that's just funny to think of. Yo, is this is this rapper taking the piss out of Eminem? Oh, he's gonna get absolutely. Ra Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. Tits. All right, I'm gonna try this from the back. This is now a session of back of the pack. Starting in last, trying to get up to first. Which, by the way, when it comes to motorsport five, six, and seven, that's gonna be every video. We're gonna be starting at the back and pushing to the front. Because those Forza games, they don't start you at the front. This game, it starts you at the front, and same with Motorsport 4, I believe. 
a lot of them just start you based on how fast you are or how fast you are in a simulated qualifying which obviously I would be fast Eminem featured in with Kanye and Drake I got no clue no clue on that one This song, by the way, super catchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super catchy. And it's also made by one of the guys from Nero. Joseph Ray is one of the guys from Nero. So. This were too good. <laughs> How the hell have I managed that? I've been mean, slowing down at the same pace, but then towards the end of the straight, my car just stopped slowing down. Oh my god, why are you going so slow? You're supposed to drive. Never give Mecha kind of exact. No, I wouldn't be able to drive it. Actually, I probably would. Um, don't give me a Koenigsegg with that's controlled by a PS5 controller. Because otherwise, uh, we might have a situation like the Titan sub. That was a terrible joke. I don't care. I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember. Sub, not the sub. <laughs> too soon? Was it too soon? I think, uh, my nah, nah, it's never too soon. Let's be real, you didn't see Instagram. <laughs> uh, Instagram reels, pun intended. Instagram reels were insane. After that. After the uh, sub incident. See, me personally, right, if I was in the submarine, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it was a PlayStation controller. Just because I know that PlayStation controllers, no matter how bad a state they get in, they always seem to work. Like, I've seen so many people with, like, really broken PS4, PS3 controllers, and they work perfectly fine. Like, these old, crusty, dusty looking, ratty controllers, and they work fine. You see that with Xbox, they die before they actually, you know, start looking bad. Xbox controllers just give up. We've got Porsche on one side and McLaren on the other side. And the Koenigsegg coming through. Oh, 
What the fuck? Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. By the way, how loud is the uh, music compared to the game? I'm hoping the music is audible, because otherwise I've just been making some weird ass fucking noises on my own. Quite quiet. That should be a bit better. Is it stand up? No, breathe. Breathe again. Beep beep, motherfucker, get out of the way, cunt! Come play my game, I'll test ya! That was terrible. Yo, where's the, where's the, whoa, where's the McLaren gone? Oh, where have I gone? Ah! Hi there, Corvette. Did you see that back there? I oh know, the McLaren was shit. <laughs> Breathe again. Jesus fucking Christ, this car's fast. You're the victim.
What are you doing? Beep, beep. Oh, this is the final lap. There we go, that officially is the R2 Championship completed, which means beyond this, the only thing left to do now is R1. There you go, that's obviously R2 completed. As you can see, this is all that's left. Everything else has a tick on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.